chose Piccadilly Records because I've been shopping here since the mid to late 80s. It's been in three locations in Manchester. Uh, started off in Piccadilly Gardens, which is now a bus station and a really unlikely location for a record shop. Uh, then it moved to Brown Street and then it moved here to Oldham Street where it's been for quite a long time. Uh, and I first went there as a teenager and just found it a really inspiring, um, well-stocked shop with lots of different genres. And in those days, because I didn't know a lot about music as a teenager, but I was very hungry for knowledge. I used to go to different staff and go, right, you're the reggae guy. Give me a list of 10 reggae records I need. Okay, you're the punk guy. What do I need from you? Hip hop person here. So it was like almost a slightly tiny version of the inside of John Peel's mind of describing a shop like this. Or say something like Rough Trade in London, similar. You know, very good pedigree, been running for a long time really good reputation for stocking, just very well chosen music so you can come in and guarantee that you're going to come out with you know, at least three or four really good tunes that you've never heard of before. For me a good record shop is, I think, friendly staff with a lot of knowledge um, who are excited to share the music that they love with you and whether their sharing takes form of you know, just being very well labelled on the shelves, like in Piccadilly, you can just wander around for hours and just read the sleeve notes and it'll go, oh, you know, that, that appeals to me, I'll pick that up and then take it to the counter and listen, or whether it's just going up to the counter and having a chat and getting someone to play your stuff. Yeah, the, I mean, the, that, there's, there's great record shops all over the world and I think the ones that are still surviving now, especially in a kind of, in a physical shop rather than online, are, are ones that have really good customer service, don't mess around, they're really friendly and just have a really good wine range in stock. And they're nice places to, to spend time in as well. I love vinyl because it's what I started listening to when I was a kid. I like the associations that I have with vinyl where if I look at it, I can visualize the shop I was in or where I first heard it or who sold it to me or the time of my life. You know, I, th I think having that, having something physical and having a pictorial reference on the cover or even if, if it's just a label or a logo or something it takes you back in time. Okay, I think at loud volumes a well set up vinyl system uh, with you know decent preamps, good needles, nice tone arm, decent mixer, a DJ who's not putting it into the red all the time and a, and a decent sound system and a good sound engineer. It sounds a lot almost like fits the shape of the human ear a bit better than digital files do. I think it's just something about going onto vinyl and then coming off, you know, the, the ask, there's something physical about that that I really like. But um, I'm not anti-digital, I, I make music on a computer, I play CDs, you know, I'll, I'll listen to, when, when I'm shopping online, I'll listen to MP, MP3s and then buy the vinyl. Today, for my DJ setup, I didn't bring everything because, you know, it's. It, it's a Wednesday afternoon in a record shop, but I brought, um, well, Philippa from the shop very kindly lent me a couple of turntables. I brought uh, one from home, I had some Grado and um, I think they were Shure cartridges, like hi-fi ones. Uh, Formula Sound PM100 mixer, Isono 5-band isolator, D2 delay unit, uh, and about four boxes of records, which, you know, I could have played, you know, I could have played for two days straight with those, but I was a bit, in a bit of a rush, so I just end up shoving loads of stuff in the box and kind of just seeing whatever you're in the mood to play. I'm Mr. Scruff, and you're about to see my 100% vinyl set from Piccadilly Records in Manchester.
with no flux to all the vinyl heads. 100% vinyl today, Mr. Scoop, give it your.
Until I say I raise your job. Josh, I can label on the king turn table, you know. Style. 
DNA for the dog step down style. Yeah. 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 All wet play, all red leaves ain't gone. Always then look to the soul flutes. Mr. Scruff said he looked to our local and international DJs, Rinsey Vinyl. Hey! <laughs>
inside Piccadilly Records and a little undercover mission. Yeah.
them on those passing through. Check out Mix Man. Love to dance to sit the boat jump. Listen. Dance and show some Bobby Warmack inside.
musical excursion
Pushing a vinyl strong. That's a big up the mix mark, highlighting the situation. International, alternational. See 
Fang give me thanks and praise on too far right Man I give me thanks and praise on too far right Man I give me thanks and praise on too far right Until I see I raise you You know Yeah 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 Mr. Scott plays straight on Fred, 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 you know. Tinker Warrior Stars, Jashaka Label. Listen. All kind of style for all kind of folks. Monte, this is Scott Give it, y'all. So it comes. Drop. 
Business。